Hiya, I'm Rach and today I'm going to show you how I created this Winter Soldier looks. Carry on watching if you want to find out more. All the products I've used will be listed down below in the description box. So before I decided to do this look, I did actually watch a couple of YouTube tutorials, which is why I'm laying down a black body paint, just because I saw that somebody else had said they wish they'd done a black body paint beforehand, just to help the silver sort of pop a bit more. So here I am sponging on the silver homemade pack paints, which is just prosade, water and acrylic. So I'm just sponging it on and then I was like, this is not full coverage. So I then applied it with a brush and as you can see, I'm then very, very shiny. So I mapped out the details of the Winter Soldier jacket with an eyebrow pencil and here I am just filling it in with black paint, which in a bit you will then see that it's all brown because his jacket is actually brown, but the reference photo I was looking at was his back, but then in another reference photo it was brown. So I ended up redoing all of this that you see and so it will cut, but you'll see me doing it first if that makes sense. And so then he's got all these like buckles and little straps and whatnot on his jacket which is what I'm just filling in here so add a black base and then mixing black and white paint together I just created a light grey just to fill in the details zoomed in a little bit trying to get those different camera angles as you can see I filled in the buckles and I'm just adding a few highlights to add a bit of depth Using the same grey as earlier, I then just mapped out the rest of his jacket. So by then going back and repainting everything in brown, I could then add more depth to it. Because obviously, black on black doesn't change anything. But because it was then brown, I could then add the depth to make it look as if certain pieces of fabric were laying over different bits. And here you go. You can see it just, it just looks a lot better. And it just helps like the white and the grey to pop out a little bit more. So I'm just filling in the rest of his arm. So obviously he's got one silver and one with leather on. So and there was also some little detailing that I then added, uh, just using a light grey again. And then there's some bits that I then go in to create highlights with the white again. So here I am drawing a star like you would in primary school because I cannot draw a star any other way and then filled that in with the same red body paint. I've got to check the camera because I'm the only one working the camera so when I look up that's why <laughs> I'm checking you're still there. Now if I could work this fast in real life this body paint wouldn't have taken me seven hours. So I'm just filling in all the detailing for his arm because as you know, if you're a Marvel fan, it's made of metal plates. So I then went in, I had done my forearm, but I hated it. I absolutely hated it, so that's why you don't see it. But I started from the elbow so I could help plan out where all of the metal plates were going to go on my arm because Sebastian Stan has beefy arms. As you can see, I do not. So I was then trying to figure out the proportions and I'm still not quite too happy with the proportions but for my first shot I'm quite happy. But I used everything as a reference point so by using the elbow I could see that there was three lines above it. On the star I knew there were certain points which had lines so that's why I started from the star when filling in those lines just so I could figure out where exactly the others needed to go in relation to the star. And then just using a black eyeshadow, I just shaded under the lines I created to give the idea of depth. So I filled in the outline of the mask off camera because as usual, my camera had died. I do have more batteries though, so next time this won't be a problem. And then I proceeded to fill it in. It, the mask, the mask consists of three colors, black, light gray, and dark gray. So I just used a black body paint and then white and black mixed together to get the greys. 
finish this look off, I had to include the emo winter soldier eye look. So I just used a black eyeshadow from the Revolution makeup palette and then a black grease paint as well, just because it wasn't as pigmented as I expected it to be. And so that is the finished look. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you next Wednesday. Bye!